All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for Oddlight. We're in a trial still. It's the first part of the trial of this particular episode. Um, and I know a lot of people were a little bit disappointed that I had to break it up. I'm so sorry. I've been so busy these last few days that, like, I don't have, like, a whole two hours to sit down and do it all at once. I am sorry if that broke anyone's immersion, but we're back. We're still talking to Old Bag, and apparently we've bullied her enough to make her talk about secret information. Does she actually have secret information? I'm not so sure, to be honest. Oh, God. Get ready! This is going to take the win out of you youngins! I, I've lost all my wind already, madam. I don't have any left. I'm sure we're all capable of handling this, really. It's not like we're ten years old. No, I'm eleven. Alright, here we go. Secret information. I can't imagine what this could be, though. Whoa, where- what, what- whoa! Did you see that? Her- her, like, helmet just disappeared. <laughs> that was a bit weird. That on guard is one evil, evil man. Oh, that's libel. You can't really say that in a courtroom and have it hold any weight. He thought he could ruin poor Warren by causing a huge scandal. So to do that, he sent his own manager to get close with Juan. Yeah, so in the last one, we kind of unearthed a little bit about the scandal and why there would be a reason for her to hang out in front of the door in the first place. And that's where we are now. I had a little bit of a flub last time, so I really hope that that doesn't happen now, because we're kind of low on HP. <laughs> I'm a bit worried, actually. I cannot condone such dirty tricks, so I took action -er. Oh, mask is back. Oh, and this is top secret. You got that? No one else but you and me know yet, okay? Uh, and everyone's listening? And also to the person that just transcribed this whole thing in in court. The defendant sent his manager? What a distasteful topic for this court. Like this is the worst thing this court has ever talked about. What? Nobody's above gossip. And isn't there a saying? The truth is never pleasant. Never heard that one before. Yeah, me neither, Phoenix. I think she made it up. Mr. Edgeworth, what about this Adrian Andrews person? We have looked into this matter and found that the truth the article proposes is in fact baseless gossip. Exactly. But this should be- but should this be true? Then this proves that the defendant did bear ill will towards the victim. So this means I have to smash this rumor once and for all. Okay, I'm ready. How are we gonna do that though? I hope they prompt me in the right direction. This really is the hardest case yet, because I have not fumbled like I fumbled in the last one so far. Now then, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. It- <sighs> It seemed like most of what she said was just, like, slander. How am I going to get a fact out of that, though? Be careful. The old bag seems rather excited right now. Ew. Yeah, no, I don't want to see her excited either. I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> oh, that's right. Engard is nothing but your average foul-blooded youth. Uh-huh. Well, as the old saying goes, you've got to burn old bags with fire. Oh, wow, Phoenix. Jeez, that's kind of savage. Time to fire up the afterburners and hit the highway to the danger zone. What? Really? Were you in that movie, Phoenix? I'm pretty sure that you were. Right, secret- <sighs> Nothing she even said even stood out to me, though. Alright, let's see what she's got to say. Oh boy, look at that HP bar. We're in a little bit of trouble here, I think. That on guard is one evil, evil man. Come on. What is she going to actually say about this, though? I'm, I'm curious. You can't say something like that without proof. That's just slander. Thank you, Phoenix. God, thank you, Jesus, for giving me Phoenix right in this life, who understands everything I say. But it's true! That woman was getting intimate with poor Juan! Look! It says so right here, doesn't it? Manager to the stars, Miss A.A. You believe that crap? But the name from the magazine this came from is Gossip Land. What? Are you saying that gossip is all just a pack of lies? Yeah, for the most part, that's exactly what we're saying. Huh, what do you know? I suppose next you'll swear to me that the news is 100% truth. Uh... Well, not anymore, am I right? Never mind, that's too soon. Honestly, Sonny, you can't discriminate between the news and gossip! Yes, discrimination is bad, Mr. Wright. What?! Judge, come on! Get your head screwed on straight, will ya? Discriminate? When did I do anything like that? Anyway, and God will never get me to say touché! What? Okay. Thought I could ruin poor Juan by causing a huge scandal. Alright. A scandal? What do you mean by that? You're a dim-witted one, aren't you? I can't believe you don't know what a scandal is! Honestly, what are they teaching kids in middle school these days? Ma'am, I haven't been in middle school in a long time. No, no, I wasn't asking what the word scandal means. Even I know that much. 
Well, that on guard thought he could own a monopoly on popularity. Uh-huh. So far, this is this is literally nothing. Like I thought it would be. So to do that, he sent his own manager to get in close. Okay, tell me about that. You don't have any proof that Mr. Ongar did any such thing. You must be suffering from shock. The shock of hearing the truth. And now, since you're in so much shock, you can't do anything right. What? What? You're right, I can't do anything, but boy do I wish I could do something about you. Ha <laughs> ha! Me too, Phoenix. Throw in the trash. Alright then, Senny, show me what you got. Can you show me proof that Ongar didn't bear any ill will toward Juan? Uh-oh. No. Uh, I don't think we can. I don't have anything to offer. See? Just as I thought. I hope that was right. And you were lecturing me about saying things without proof. I wonder if that was a bait. Like, trying to get me to do the wrong thing. You just give me a free pass to say whatever I want, silly boy. Oh. Well, you were gonna do that anyway. That's the way the cookie crumble is for you, anyway. Uh-huh. Well, we didn't lose points, so it's probably fine. Cannot condone such dirty tricks, so I took action. Like what? That sounds weird. So, what do you mean by I took action? Like I already told you, I was lying in wait close to the crime scene. Once that slimy woman came out of Juan's room. That's rude, why would you say that? I was going to capture her and teach her a good lesson, so the new youngins need to capture her. Wait, what does that mean? You weren't actually gonna, like, do anything to her, were you? You were going to teach her a good lesson? I was going to make her eat the damaging beams of my ray gun. Uh-huh. No, stop! Well, it was too bad that woman didn't come through the door that night. Did she not? Oh, and this is top secret, you got that. Nobody else but you and me know yet, okay? That's the statement that seems the weirdest. Wait! What? I'm a busy woman! Tea time with the kids is over! Secret information that no one else knows yet. If that's true, then how do you know the secret information? Yeah, exactly. I still wonder if she didn't get a hold of Lotta's camera. Huh? Well, that's because I'm a pro. A pro. Yes, that's it. Uh-huh. It's a secret. Even if you drill a hole into my brain, you'll never find out. Yeah, could you be dead? How in the world did an old bag get such a piece of... Oh. Oh! No, wait. Is it actually the camera, though? How did she get such a secret piece of information? They want you to present evidence right now? I'm gonna go for it. So no one else is supposed to know this secret information, correct? If that's true, then why do you know it, Miss Old Bag? Let's see what she says here. Why are you looking at me like that? Stop that! Witness. I'm sad to say it, but this is how you found out the secret, isn't it? Is it actually the... I mean, it's not this, because we already held it up. <clears throat> what else do we have? No, she wouldn't have gotten her hands on any of this. It's gotta be the camera. The one thing that Lotta still hasn't gotten back. Did Old Back take it? I did say that this might have been a possibility in the last... In the last episode that we had. Oh boy, I hope I don't mess this up because we are in big danger here. Yeah, it was stolen. Tabloid article about the victim was in the case. That's right. The tabloid article was in the case. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot that it was in there, too! That's how she got her hands on it! Oh god, I'm stupid, it all makes sense! The investigative photographer, Lotta Hart. Oh yeah, so I remember that mischievous girl. She reported that she had lost a certain note she had written to herself. She reported such a thing? On that piece of paper, she had written down some of her outrage uh, impressions about the relationship between the victim and Miss Andrews. That's where she got the info from. What? Outrageous ideas, you say? No, no, no. I said impressions. Then... Then... Then everything written on this piece of paper is completely meaningless! Oh, okay. So she... She not only got her hands on the tabloid, she got her hands on that too and thought she had stumbled upon something true. You dummy. Ah, oh, that's it. That's the note. Ah! Ah! No, you see? This is something completely different. This is my top secret list of groceries to buy! <laughs> what? Uh, then you are the one who took Miss Hart's note? I'm a huge fan of wands, that's why. That infamous puffy-haired whippersnapper. She's working with that evil Ungard. She said so herself. Ungard, I'm his sidekick. 
She was so happy, smiling like a silly duck. You mean like you are right now? No. I was only checking what she had written. I don't know. Oh, this is crazy. I don't think they're buying it though. Oh, Ed no, Edra's definitely not buying it. Um, <laughs> what's happened? Edgy Boo, you believe me, don't you? No, madam. No, Ed Edgeworth, don't answer. Please. I was only trying to help out like the angel I am. It's only one little piece of paper. I've never taken anything else before. You really should come with a supply of cheese to match your vintage wine. <laughs> well, it only was a piece of paper. I suppose we can overlook it just this once. She looks like she's really sorry. Should I forgive her? Oh. Um. Wait, is this- oh, is this a- is this a choice that's gonna have ramification? Uh-oh. I mean, she is an old lady. No, I don't want to forgive that bat! If I let up on her now, she'll get away. I have to find some way to inflict a deafening blow to the prosecution. Witness, you said the only thing you stole was that note. Is this correct? S stole? Why don't you listen more carefully, you annoying brat? I saved this piece of paper from the terrible lonely trash can, that's all. You're lying, damn it, and I can prove it. Are you putting my credibility under scrutiny again? Miss Old- Oh no, should I have not taken this route? Miss Old Bag? I don't believe the note is the only thing you stole that night. It's the camera. It's the camera. Yeah, she took it. Yeah, for sure. She must have done. Miss Old Bag. That note was with a camera inside its case, wasn't it? A camera? Yesterday, Lotta Hart was raising a huge stink over her camera. She kept saying something like, My sweetie, $1,600 camera disappeared on me. Why? What? Witness! What is it, Gramps? He's the same age as you. If you have the note, then it's only logical that you have the camera too. Ugh. Looks like you found me out again, Sonny. Is this the camera you're looking for? God damn it. So she stole it. How the hell did she get away with it? What? Even though I look like this, I'm still a person, you know? I- I'm- I'm- no. No. No, I- I have my doubts. <laughs> I still eat meals like you. I fall in love and borrow things from people. No, normal people don't steal. Uh, I think your definition of borrow is a little off. I saw that woman's business card and that's when I noticed it said, Slime bag celebrity photographer extraordinaire. Well, when I saw that, I had to know what sort of picture she had taken. I'm a professional security guard, it's my business to know these things. I don't think that's the, the jurisdiction that that works under. Bailiff, check this camera's photos, hurry! Oh, are we actually gonna see them? We must examine it at once. Yeah, let's have a look. That's gonna be good. What we got? Lotta, don't let me down. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, what do we have? There's only one photo that seems to be relevant to this case. Please present it to the court. Okay. All right, so that's pretty much what I thought would happen. We would see the costume for sure, and and we do. Now I don't know from this first glance if there's anything wrong with it. Let me look real quick, actually, while we have a minute. Uh. I mean that mostly looks right. I can't see his other arm. But other than that, without the weapon, it looks fairly like him. The pants look a little bit funny. I don't know why that is. They look like they're melting or something. I don't know. It's weird. Wait a minute. No. The pants are definitely weird because Hakama is supposed to not drag on the floor. They're actually not supposed to. You're supposed to see your feet. That just bolsters what I thought in the last one, isn't it? It's somebody in a costume. It's not Matt, because Matt fits the costume perfectly, I'm assuming. Oh dear. Okay. I'll keep that in my, the back of my mind, because I think that's what we're probably gonna spin this as. See, I told you, that's the guy I saw, and everyone's not gonna notice that the pants don't fit. I bet you anything that's gonna be it. But I don't wanna get too ahead of myself, because that's how I messed up last time. This proves that the witness was not lying earlier about this matter. All right, we got the photo. Boy, I hope we can use that. What does all this mean, Mr. Edgeworth? This photo by itself does not prove that the person in it is the defendant, however. Thank you, at least Edgeworth's on my side about that. 
In his own confession, Mr. Ongar clearly stated that at the time of the murder, he was still in his Nickel Samurai costume. If that is the case, then this Nickel Samurai is... Uh-oh. What? The defendant. No, it can't be. It's not, though. How did it come to this? I think this brings us to the end. We have examined every piece of evidence thoroughly. Final comments, Mr. Wright? The court will consider them before we close. Say anything, Nick. Do you agree this photo is decisive evidence against your client? No. If this photo really is decisive, then we're done for. But if I raise an objection here and blow it, then I would put Maya's life in jeopardy. I can't make a mistake here. There's only one road out of this mess. It's definitely not him. This photo that Lada took, there's... There's something strange with it. Are we going with the pants? Is that what it's actually going to be? I hope so, because I honestly can't think of anything else that it could be. Alright. There's... There's something strange with this photo. I knew this was coming, right? Yeah, you're going to be saying that later. Wait, what? Never mind that. Your thoughts, Mr. Edgeworth? I think we can all agree there's nothing strange with this photo. There's no way for the defense to debunk this photo, even with a bunker buster. What? Debunk with a bunker buster? Is that what you're planning to do, Mr. Wright? No, I said that was later. Get out of my business. Jeez, you nosy ass people. Uh, anyway, please look at the photo one more time. If you really believe, you can honestly find something. Yeah, yeah, I can. Then you should only need one chance, correct? Uh, well... I have to find something wrong with the photo. I can't let this chance go by. Where in the heck did she take this picture anyway? It's all out of focus. Why can't she take a good shot, especially when it counts? Oh, poor Lada. She kind of does suck, doesn't she? <laughs> now then, let's hear your objection. Oh, this is it. What about this photo? It's strange. It's gotta be the pants. I'm really- Oh, boy. I hope I didn't overlook anything. Please forgive me if I get a game over here. No, it's gotta be this. It has to be. I would like to direct the court's attention to this one area right here. What are you pointing to? His ankles? If you could see this person's ankle, that would be one thing. However, you can't. Uh, and? What does that mean? The nickel samurai in this photo could not have been Mr. Ongard. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! What is the meaning of this? Shut up! You just don't move your purdy mouth. I wonder if you would care to elaborate with actual facts, that is. Edra, how did you miss this? That's what I'm surprised about. Let's take a look at the Nickel Samurai's poster. Yup. Traditional Hakama do not dust the floor. Please pay attention to the area around the bottom of the Hakama. There's room. His, his socks. You can see his socks. Exactly. However, in this photo, they're all, they're all bound up. They're all melty. The Nickel Samurai is clearly holding his Hakama up just to walk. That's right. It's not him. There is only one explanation for this. The person inside this costume is clearly much shorter than the defendant. Are we going with Adrian for that? I, I bet you we are. Oh no. All right, I think I've turned things around for myself this time. That's curious. Huh? What is? Edgeworth is unusually calm today. That's true. Well, he looks beautiful. I gotta be honest. He's just letting the trial run itself as if he's only along for the ride. Along for the ride? What do you mean by that? I can only think that perhaps he doesn't feel under attack at all. He doesn't feel under attack? Then he's not taking any damage? What? Is that a weird joke, Phoenix? Because it was bad. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, where does this leave us? He's thinking. About tonight. <laughs> I've really got to concentrate on this damn trial and not keep making sexual innuendos about him. Okay, that's never going to happen. If the person in this photo is not Matt Ongard... Then everything the prosecution has tried to prove has become meaningless. Just par for the course in this place. Uh, I thought it would come to this. No, you didn't. Stop waggling your finger. You better keep it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was. <laughs> you guys, I'm awful. Never mind what I was going to say about it. What? Right. I have something I want to ask you. I, yeah, if it's about tonight, can it wait? I think you've proven that the person inside the costume is not Matt on guard. In that case, who is this a photo of? Is he testing me? Because I bet you anything, he knows. Edgeworth has to know, right? He's just got to. 
Who is the person wearing the Nicolas Samurai costume? Don't stress out over this, Phoenix. It's very simple. What you should be focused on is Edgeworth's attitude, don't you think? It is a bit strange. Yeah, why is he so calm? I wonder if he's just leading us through this. Mr. Wright, let's hear your thoughts. Who is the person in the photograph? Look at this graph. Are we going with Adrian? I'm assuming that's what we're doing. All right. A Adrian Andrews? If you want to know who that nickel samurai is, it is none other than this woman. And why would you say it would be Miss Andrews? What in the world points you to her? For starters, she's short. And she can freely move in and out of Mr. Ongard's room. Finally, she had dinner with Mr. Ongard that night. And how does that all add up? It means that it makes it very easy for her to get in a certain item. A certain knife with Mr. Ongard's fingerprints all over it. The knife that was used as a murder weapon. Why don't you just say what it is you want, right? Well, I did. I told you about tonight, but I don't really want to say it here in front of everyone. <laughs> you guys, I'm never going to drop it. Like, not ever. I have to do this now. This is my last chance to turn things around. Come on, Phoenix, we can do it. The defense motions to indict Miss Andrews in the murder of Juan Carita. It was Miss Andrews who tried to frame the defendant for the crime. Yeah, rabble all you want. You guys know I'm right. Order, order! It looks like this trial is in a most unexpected development. Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor. This court is issuing a subpoena for Miss Adrian Andrews. A verdict cannot be passed without first hearing her testimony. Oh, that's going to be a barrel of monkeys, isn't it? Oh, I bet it is. She's going to be so prim and proper and perfect and exact, and then it's going to be really hard to find out anything, I bet. All right, this is it. This, this is kind of bad for us. Why, Mia? What's wrong? What do you mean? If Adrian Andrews is summoned to court as a witness, it means that the trial will go on for another day. One more day. <gasps> Maya! Oh no! If I don't get a verdict today, then Maya... Oh shoot! Oh my god, you guys, I totally actually forgot! Oh no! Now then, shall we set Miss Andrew's testimony for tomorrow? What am I supposed to do? The judge is about to adjourn the court! Uh... I don't think there's any way we're gonna get through it, though, without talking to Adrian. I... What am I gonna raise an objection about? What if I mess up my chances at that point? Uh-oh. This is bad. No, this is really bad, actually. I'm not sure. I have to do something. The trial must go on. But I don't have anything left. No evidence, no nothing. <laughs> Look at this badge! Now then, court will- oh! Whoa, who was that? Edgeworth, is that you? I abhor wasting such valuable time. Edgeworth? What, do you know? Does he know? Your Honor, I request that you please continue with today's trial. He knows, doesn't he? <gasps> oh my god, Edgeworth, are you helping us? Oh, <laughs> my hero! But... We cannot continue due to this unexpected development. Unexpected development? I think you underestimate me, Your Honor. And what do you mean by that? That Mr. Phoenix Wright would slave his way to subpoenaing Miss Adrian Andrews is all happening according to plan. Even if Wright was a bit slow to catch on. What? What's he talking about? What? What does he know? Wait, 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 what? What are you going on about, beautiful? What is the meaning of your statement, Mr. Edgeworth? Miss Adrian Andrews is currently waiting in the prosecution lobby. Is she really? Edgeworth, you beautiful boy, I knew you had it in you. She is the next witness. Oh, thank goodness. Everything- everything was planned out in advance by that man? Somehow, I knew there was no way Edgeworth would overlook Miss Andrews. Looks like this battle is far from over, so he was waiting for us to come up with it. Wait a minute. Exactly. Does he know about what's happening with Maya too? Was he tipped off? Very well. We will call the next witness. Wait, is that- Right now? Oh my god, this is longer than I thought it would be. However, before we proceed, we shall take a 10 minute recess. Oh, thank god for that. Okay, so this episode will be a little short, because there really is no point in me going on at that at, at that rate. If we're going to start up a new thing, then I want to be like fresh as a daisy for that. And I, what I'll try to do in the next trial part is I will try to go through the whole thing until we break. 
to make up for the split that was in this one. I'm sorry, you guys. The court will not take a 10-minute recess. Oh my god. I can't believe Edgeworth saved us, though. Holy crap! This is so good! I can't even deal with this right now! That's how good this is! Ah! You guys, this is so amazing. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. In the next one, we will go through with that part of the trial, and I promise you, no matter what, I will go ahead and record everything until the next break so you can have an extra long episode just for you. I, I hope it's not too long. Let me know in the comments if it's too long to do that. Is it going to be like two hours? Maybe I don't want to do one that's two hours. But anyway, <laughs> I'll do my best. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.